Or in this game, I'm sorry for the issues. You can blame Streamlabs crashing on me. Actually, it was not Spectrum for the first time in a mile. The crashing of a stream was not to do with Spectrum. Regardless, though, we're seeing the tower beam move forward. No points have really scored, so y'all have not really missed anything. Splash up behind. Leafy gets a pick. Mika's Leafy something in for Legend. Locker drop again. Hello. You guys can hear me, right? We're good? Are we good, chat? Sorry about that. I'll be pushing up. NX kind of stuck in there. I don't even know if that's NX. I, I don't know who they are. You know, I'm just going to call them by their weapons names. Because I'm, I'm tired of it. Magical getting the pick. A little bit of fall off. Pushing up here. 52 dies. A very odd position, but it happens. Splattershot trying to hide. Opie knows exactly where he is, but still able to at least stall that tower. Opie gets the pick. Gotta turn the camera, because Inkblot's terrible for Spectator. Like the Booyah Bomb from Madness here. Just holding it. Very smart. That's a free checkpoint. Bomb rush being used. Really need positions being set up here. Zara trying to put some pressure. Isaac dodges. Bless is trying to get in. Gets one. But she's in a lot of space being taken. The 52 cuts them off. Prevents the escape. Huge picks from whoever this gal player is. However, he does die of a splash. Unfortunate. Waka armoring trying to push up here. 52 sharks, but does not find the kill. Zara's being chased back. Or, sorry, Mika. That's not Zara's. Being chased back. The Galia is NX? Okay. NX on the left side with Waka and Isaac trying to push in. Madness trades. We are seeing... This is just fights. Everyone here just wants to duel each other. <laughs> Isaac kind of stuck in mid. Luckily, he teleports away. Thanks, spectator mode. He is still alive in this corner, and Waka saves him. I have no idea how Isaac is actually alive. No, the charger is actually Mika. Don't tell me otherwise. This is Mika. It says Mika right there. It's not Zara. Man, this Booyah as they try to punish it doesn't happen. Waka goes down. They're stuck in a bad spot. Trade happens, but it's not in their favor if Bless goes down without getting a kill. That's huge. However, the blob's going to kill the 52 because the 52 decides to walk into an uninkable terrain against a blob. That is unlucky. Waka and Obi fighting. Obi with a huge pick. 52 goes down. This should be the lead for Young. I think, maybe. There we go. Mika on that tower with the bomb rush. Isaac goes down. But we still haven't gotten the lead. Waka gets one. It will finally flip. Obi on the tower. We do see Bless getting one before going down to Leafy. Yeah, let's auto spec this. Leafy goes down. Do you see the 52 being set? That's gonna be the game. Sorry for the very scuffed setup there. Uh, I yeah, Streamlabs is not a fucking good program. But that will be game one going to Young. That was a very interesting match. <laughs> the zap is walky. My god, half the people here aren't even gonna get that reference. <laughs> that is sad. Also, chat, Luna wants to inform you all that they say hi. They're a bit too busy watching TikTok, but they say hi. Boomer joke. It's not even a boomer joke. Waki coached Olive in like 2018, 2019. It's not even that old. I mean, I guess, yeah, like competitive player, yeah, it's NSTC 2015, 2016, yeah. But I mean, he was in the scene for a while. Are they subbing in Brandon or Terra? Brandon's on their roster? I have no idea who's on the roster of friends. I'd assume they're subbing in Terra. They're subbing in Rui? Rui's on. How many people are on this roster? <laughs> No, it's Terra. All right. The substitution coming in for friends. 
Do you see the man, the myth, the legend, Terra? We are on the amazing map that people enjoy playing for some reason. Which is Ramika Blackbelly. I do think we're going to see Mika going with the custom Jet Squelcher. They subbed out Isaac and Rui based on mode? Ah, I see. That is interesting. I mean, I think Blob is fine on other modes, so I think it makes sense here. I don't know, Rainmaker would make sense to play a C-Jet as well, but... I think this will definitely be an advantage for Young if they want to do Nautilus. Nautilus is good here. They have C-Jet that's pretty nice here. Uh, yeah, I don't know. This is going to be a tough one. Blob is not bad here, but the Blob is just going to get countered because the C-Jet's just going to Ray him, and then he's going to farm Ray off of the Blob. So that could be annoying. Unless they play this very well. But if they play this well, then they'll win. So, we'll see it. But the last game was pretty even. So, I'm honestly pretty interested to see how we're going to have this happen. I think Madness gets one kill this game. Damn, Omega. Oh, this was a bad not-map? I think Pack's pretty good here. I don't know, we might just see Shooter. Leafy is subbing with the back line, so it wouldn't surprise me if Leafy just plays a Shooter. See the Blob K52 standard stuff? I was correct, we do see the Knot, but I was wrong. We are not seeing a C-Jet, we are seeing a Stingray Splatter Scope. Definitely not what I expected, but, you know, you can't predict Mika. He's just a very different player. Zara's would have done the C-Jet, though. Most other back lines, but Mika's different. All right, setting up in mid right now. NX trying to get control on the left side. Armor comes out. Does not really see a lot of map control being taken by Young. Charger set up on the right side. Pack in the middle. Luckily does not get booted. But it's a 52, so the 52 is going to be alive. Bomb rushes come out. The Nautilus goes down. Bomb on the wall does kill the bucket. 52 trying to push the zap. We see the Stingray. The 52 is moving into the Stingray. He's probably dead. No, he's alive. Magical. Terra trying to hold down mid control. It is a 3v2 still. OB armoring will bomb the landing. Then immediately goes down. Terra playing that very smart. Making sure that mid was held down. Good play there. DC Waka and Terra is the last two alive. Trying to push up here. Isaac getting in front. That Rainmaker needs to move, and that is why Mika set up, hits the shot. There's a jump right next to him. I don't think he noticed. Luckily, a teammate gonna take that down for him. Did you see Mika setting up in mid? Obi pushing in front. Get some help from Madness. Right side there, one backed up. Mika flicks the shit out of the Rainmaker shield. Obi going to be pushing up here. Wall from the 52, putting a little bit of a dent. Leafy clears the path, though. Wants to bomb rush that shield. If they stay alive, gets the pick on the 52. Pushing up right here if they can find another pick, but it doesn't happen. The double bucket going to be a little bit too annoying there. Do you see Waka pushing up? Going to opt to Missile Mika. Putting a bit of pressure on the Rainmaker is going to be resetting back to the middle of the stage. We see the suction, but the amazing splat bomb from Mika going to be getting the double kill. This is a week one match. They just have not played this yet. So, I think it's just rescheduled. Mika pushing up here, looking for a pick. Doesn't find it. Has to back off. That zap somehow survives, eventually going down. We do see Mika trying to build up that Stingray as fast as possible. Does manage to get it, but we're a little bit late here, and that Rainmaker will be going down. Probably should have switched the cam away to see what was going on, but that's auto spectator for you. Leafy Sharkin by this Rainmaker, trying to look for something. The Blob drops, but gets out of there in time. Leafy is opting to just go for the Rainmaker. Smart, gonna get that pick. Probably. There we go. Bomb Rush comes out. Leafy playing safe, trying to hold it down. Gets another pick onto Isaac, sees the jumper, gets the pick onto the bucket, and this push is dead. Once again, control in the favor of Young, opting to go for a push. Their bomb rush goes down, but the inkjet can be super useful to get through that blob. 
almost finds a kill, barely missing it, and Isaac will be taking down the pack himself there, trying to push ahead as the bomb rush uses it a little bit early, but it's going to guarantee the pop of that Rainmaker shield. We still have Missile and Booyah for the push. I don't know if they have anyone to grab the Rainmaker. That's a little bit scuffed. We now have to walk all the way backward and grab it. We have lost like five seconds on miscoordination. And the Rainmaker is also in mid while two people are on top left. This is a very, very scuffed push. <laughs> wow, I did not think that could have gone any worse. And Obi's just gonna try to run it away. Luckily, NX is gonna cut that off there. Obi in front here with the Rainmaker trying to pressure Waka. Booyah Bomb does come out. On Obi, Terra gets the pick on the Rain. And Friends is going to have a chance to make this up. Do you see Terra grabbing the Rain? Waka pushing the left side. We got to see a little bit of coordination here. We're still very split. Isaac trying to put some pressure in middle. We do see three people on the left. 41 on the left side is not a far push, but he's gonna have to move soon because of the Stingray coming out. Terra runs past people. He's one point away. A pop and grab will do it. That's the lead. Somehow, Friends is gonna knock it out. That was the most scuffed game of Rainmaker I have ever seen. <laughs> what the heck was that? <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know, I thought the ray would have ended it, but no, I guess not. <laughs> you know, good on good on friends. Uh, failing a push like that, like the simplest rainmaker grab, that can be incredibly demoralizing. But you know what? They they settled down and they did it right the second time and got the win. That, that's props. That's actually, you know, good, good overcoming mental stuff right there, because that feels shit. <laughs> All right, though. One to one. Very even first two games here. This could definitely go either way. Ancho Zones, gonna be a really good map for friends. If they're looking to get some momentum, this is a very nice blob map. I like Waka's V-Bucket comeback charger build. I think that could work out pretty well here. Yao's good here. I think this is a fairly neutral stage for both teams. But I think if I had to give it to one team for the advantage comp-wise, I think that blob, double bomb rush. I mean, I think that blob will work out. Not double bomb rush. They don't have... Actually, they might run two bomb rush, but we'll see. I don't see him going machine here. I really think not running missile against Mika's charger would absolutely not be a good idea. Because I do not know what they're going to do against charger. I think Blob is very good here. It can bounce off the fans to paint zones, paint heavy map. Blobs are really nice here. I like it. Uh, but Isaac, Isaac's a Blob one trick, so he's not going to play anything else. I have, no, I have barely seen Isaac touch any other weapon, especially in a tournament, so I, I don't think he's going to switch. <laughs> He's a hard blob one trick, so. Splat Zones, Ancho V Games. We see the Terra Tentabrella. I have an armorless comp. Obi going to his classic H3. And we're seeing the C Jet here. Okay. Would not have guessed that, but I mean, solid pick. C-Jet's going to be great against the tent, though, so this could work out very well. Isaac getting a really early bomb rush, but he's going to be a little bit out of mid. We're still very split in this opening. Kind of leaving Waka to die. NX knows Leafy's there, but isn't able to get it. Leafy wants to kill on Isaac. Wall goes down. Terra with the assist, though, will be cleaning up and shielding Waka. Terra kills three people! With the ten umbrella. And he's looking to go in the middle. It is just the sea jet. The jet is hiding. Uh, the ten has a shield in three bubbles. Does not care in the slightest. Madness will finally end that rain. Finding a triple. Finding a quad. 
of his own! Cause why not? Just respond to the triple with the quad. You know, why not? Obi set up here on the fan. Terra trying to put some pressure. Leafy sharking in. Gonna find an important double. Looks for the kill. On to Isaac. Going really deep for this pick. Obi covering him though. Making sure that they go down. Terra's dropping straight in. Bomb rush. 52 wall. Unfortunate. 52 goes down as well on that side. And Friends is staggered. We're gonna be bomb rushing with two people dead. At least getting some plat control, but Ray onto the blob. There's nowhere he can go. Terra gets sharked again. Two players left alive. We see the gal break away to zone, which might actually work if I can switch my camera. The burst rush with the gal. He needs to booyah. They actually cap the zone. Somehow. I don't understand. Friends is put in the most guaranteed lose situations, but just... Gets it anyway. <laughs> Throws the Booyah promptly into the sign before trading with Leafy there. We are back to mid on the objective here. Terra pushing up with that Tenebrella can find the kill on a Obi. Nope, tent damage does not like him today. Trying to use the bubbles. Gets a shield set up, dodges the bomb, finds the kill on a Leafy, is not dead. And gets off another shield. Terra taking a billion resources. Is trying to get set up. Misses the jump. Unfortunate. You see the gal setting up on plaque. Gets the wall on the left side. Having the 52 left and 10 on fan is going to be incredibly annoying. The main thing they have to deal with that is going to be that stingray. We're seeing it right now. Waka 1 HP but manages to survive. Isaac being raid also manages to survive. We're not going to be booyahing the bomb rush, but we're going to hold anyway. Gal did go down, but Waka will be cleaning it up with the trade. Waka on the plat looking for the jet, not finding it. Paint battle on the zone. will flip it temporarily, and I mean very temporarily. Waka will immediately go down to Obito, though. Obi will be finding two... Why are we not watching this man play the game? Oh, that's why, because he's dead. Unfortunate. <laughs> Isaac goes down. Everyone is dying right now. Madness gets the pick on Isaac. Another gal in zone trying to stall for the tent to come back. At least maintain fan. Zone is still not flipped. Finally, Young takes zone. And I mean only zone, because that tent's going to come out. Buya on Terra is going to be incredibly smart. Barely living. I stand corrected. The blob will find that pick. Going with the bomb rush. Goes down to the stingray. Tent in the zone. Bubbling for themselves. Trying to stay alive. Being very greedy for the pick on Tamika, but it might work out here. Terra trying to wait for another shield. Doesn't manage to get it out in time. The stingray does not care. Trades happening literally everywhere. Isaac and Waka are stuck in a corner. Something needs to happen for him because they're a little bit stuck there. Waka goes down. Isaac going to jump out at least maintain control of that bomb rush. We're going to see Leafy on this right side looking for a flank. Making sure no back cap shenanigans happen this time. Huya comes out into the zone. Splash out painting it. Bomb rush happening. Two go down though on the side of friends. And I don't know if they have enough paint for this. Leafy goes in for the pick, does get picked off, but more kills happen, and that is going to be the game going to Young. Alright, these are interesting. <laughs> I think Friends definitely held for longer. Terra played very well that game, I might add. But, unfortunately, just was not able to stop the stream of kills from happening. Everyone on Young with a minimum of 13 KA. So, I don't know. Maybe maybe playing for kills against that team might not work out super much. Yeah, the Ray was definitely really effective. No armor. Tenebrella blob against the C-Jet. That is a big disadvantage, unfortunately.
All right. Humpback Clam Blitz. He Blob is not heavy. Blob is medium. All right, though. Young up by two. Still very close games. Neither team should be super discouraged right now because it could very much go either way. We hop into this game. Blob is not heavy. Blob is medium. All right. Is that V-Jet or C-Jet? We are seeing V-Jet this time around sticking with the tent. But this time we have a try. So we still have an armor and there's no ray. I kind of like this comp here. I think Terra sticking tent is a good idea. Fortunately, Nylon immediately goes down to Mika. And we're going to watch Obi in mid. Painting. Oh, there we go. Fighting. Yay! Obi kills a tent. Setting up. Breaking that wall, gonna get a quick score on the basket and gets control of that left hump. Gonna be really good to hold that down. Isaac is just gonna be pressing the ZR button. Waka and NX actually go down. No picks happen. Bomb rush comes out from Isaac. Terra bit stuck here, gonna have to drop off. I hate auto spectator. Move, I'm taking over. Isaac gets one though. Looks for another, removes the armor, staying alive there. Trying to pressure this jet out. 52 underneath has that wall to stay alive just a little bit longer. Guya does come out. Isaac gonna be putting some pressure on that wall, bomb rushing here. Why is it there? Move. We see Obido in middle right now with the armor ready to push up on this right side. Throwing bombs to cut off the blob is going to be huge. Helping out Madness. That's a very smart play. Terra trying to push into the two people on the left side. They're going to need to kill that pity if they want to win this game. Terra drops down, gets the zap. Pity is left unattended. Or not pity. The clam is left unattended though. And they'll opt to throw it back. Not going to be able to score. We do see Terra pushing up here. Looking for a pick on the C-Jet. Does not happen. Or V-Jet, excuse me. Mika going to be using those missiles. You see Isaac set up on the left side. Friends has been pushed back constantly. They need to get that right hump back. That's going to be their first little step into getting to mid. They're not going to be able to hold with just the limited space they have so far. Missiles coming out for Mika. Terra goes down. Mika finds another bagging him. The disrespect out here. We like to see it. Two clams will be scored and that is a absolute dominant match from Young. Mid control was taken at the start and was not given up for the entire game. That's a very clean game, leading to a 3-1 for Young as they start to pick up a little bit more momentum. All right, though, not over till it's over. Game still being played. We are at Tower Control Reef. The Jet Sculpture pick has been working out very well so far. That special output has been absolutely messing up friends, and they're going to have to figure out a way of dealing with it. It is a first to five. We'll win. Here we go. Tower control on the reef. Friends being set up with the standard comp, but we do see them going back to armor instead of the tent. C-Jet coming out from Mika. 52 standard comps on both sides with the quad shooter and triple shooter blob. You'll love to see the seven shooters, or sorry, eight shooters. Sorry, no, eight, eh, six. Counting challenge, impossible difficulty. We, do, we have a try bucket. We have, Double slasher, double shooter versus this quad shooter. Who's gonna win? Terra set up in mid right now. 
Opening picks do go to friends. Madness pushing in. Finds the kill on the Isaac. Flanks the gal. Finds another Madness with the kill streak. He's going to be setting up on this left side. And the camera pans away as the try drops and kills him. Thanks, auto spectator. Bomb rush coming out here on the side. Trying to push up on the Zap. Zap has so little space to fight. But, you know, in case it wasn't one-sided enough, here comes the Stingray. Ensuring that kill happens. Madness with the Booyah Bomb. Uses it a little bit early and gets picked off. But Leafy is still set up on the left side to get the Blob. Does go down, but that's going to be a good amount of points. Obi opting to hop off tower. Content with the lead at 23. Would rather hold mid. Get those jumps in. Madness immediately jumps to his death. We do see Mika underneath bridge, putting some pressure up there. Has the Stingray at the ready, gonna wait out this armor, gets a pick on a Waka, immediately Stingray is the blob. Able to get a little bit of damage, get damages on a third player, looking to follow up on that. Gal is trying to push the jet, but he's a little bit too weak to win that fight. You see Mika set up on the bridge, farming that Stingray. Looking to be ready for the push. Madness incredibly far forward. Not able to get help from his team there. And they're setting up onto the bridge here. Bomb Rush comes out from Isaac. Will find the Stingray, of all people. Looking for a pick onto the block. Gets three blobs. Teammate will clean that up. And friends are finally gaining a little bit of map control. 3v3 right now. Someone needs to get on the bridge. There we go. There's the 52. Terra gets picked, though. Not able to get help. Bomb will pick off NX. And the friends are set up... Or, sorry. Young is set up once again. Obi gonna be riding the tower. We do see Mika set up on the bridge. Looking for the Stingray. Almost gets the gal, but pressing that super jump button will survive. At least for a little bit until they get tip damage wherever they landed. Two players backed up, some help from the C Jet. Gonna get Leafy a pick there. Goes for the fall off, I respect it. Gal on the block trying to push up. Mika is just holding this bridge by themselves. Gotta push this Siege Jet, guys. It's not gonna get any better if he's still here. And there's the pick from the Jet Squatcher. Set up trying to push in here. Terra on the bridge gets picked off. And the thing about tower control is Young is getting the special advantage this whole time they're riding tower. So the longer that Friends defends, the harder it's gonna be because they're just gonna keep getting that passive special advantage. They're gonna build specials faster as long as they keep this tower going. We do see a pick come out onto the try, onto the 52. Leafy on one HP trades with Terra. The flanking blob comes in, gets a pick before going down. Mika and Obi on the tower to get that checkpoint a little bit faster. Both of them staying on it. One goes down. Jet's gonna push out the 52. And that is gonna be the match for Young. One game away from sending friends to what I believe would be the loser's bracket for the Looty Finals. We gotta see an answer out here from friends. Young up four. There is a loser's bracket. The top two teams in each group go to winner's side, and the bottom two go to loser's side. That's how it works for DivX. Because there's only eight teams. And Young, Young is looking to be top seed in their group. Here we go. Mako Zones. Fairly neutral stage. Friends needs to win four matches in a row in order to set this up. Typically, you just push up with specials or you try to split two different angles. You don't want to push a CJ from one side because the burst bombs or ray will just absolutely fuck you up if you all come from the same direction. 
Here we go. We do see a K shot. No Jet Squasher. We're seeing a fairly slower comp on the side of Young. Waka getting off the bucket for the extra missile output. We do see Mika immediately set up for free. Finds a nice snap onto NX. Finds another onto Terra. Mika trying to get even more. Looking for the blob. Does find it. Tap shots the shot. And Mika with basically a quad on this left side. Well done there by Mika as we're setting up here. Isaac trying to put some pressure. Madness pushes in for the stagger, which is going to be really effective. Isaac has to take some form of cover. The 52 will push the charger back. Bomb rush comes out. But Leafy, using the uninkable surface to push the blob, gets the pick before going down. Terra trying to hold on gets picked off as well. And Waka will get picked on the left side. NX forced to be in the corner. The Charger's going to look at him. You might want to get a wall up here. NX going to opt to jump out, but that's going to mean their whole team's coming from the same spot. It's going to be a little difficult. Booyah comes out. Bomb rush as well. We're finally backing up that Charger. But one player goes down. A pick needs to happen right now. The Splash goes down. The Charger goes down. And Friends is not out of it quite yet. Unable to find the kill in the 52, though. Obi on the side here. Waka going for the pick on the H3, not able to find it. Armor going to keep them alive, and it's just a billion people with armor pushing onto the shot. Leafy set up on the top left with that 52. Finds two hits of fall off, but no pick quite yet. Guya comes out. Just holding it, opting to keep this top left by themselves. Throws it right at the blob. Actually finds a pick. Gets the 52 as well. Not able to find the shot, though. Still definitely worth it with that double kill. Waka has miss. Never mind. Waka does not have missile. Bomb rush on the side of both Mika and Medical Ready as long as they outpaint this Booyah Bomb, which they do. They should be able to hold this. Bomb rush comes out from the receiving side. Two go down. Paint the zone is all that has to happen. But no! Painting the zone is... Too difficult. They want the game to go longer. They want the increased kills because the zone is going to flip somehow. And Friends continues to remain in this for a little bit longer. That is Mika. Mika on the left side set up here. Terra pushing forward with the armor. Splash goes down. 52 manages to get a pick. Stays behind. Terra looks for the pick. Bomb by inches misses the wall leafy staying alive isaac gonna be able to pick him off the zone flips before madness picks them as well obi gonna be pushing up here into the front of the zone nx behind the wall trying to hold on for dear life gets the booyah bomb might get shredded barely get shredded in time that could have been a little bit easier than it had to have been Leafy pushes up, finds the trade on the blob. Waka in front. Charger looking for a good pick, has to respect it. And look at Young's KDs, guys. 12 to 14 in the first three and a half minutes. <laughs> the kills are absolutely happening. One pick does happen, though. Waka does not find the pick on Leafy. Leafy goes down to Terra, though. Finally, for the first time, Friends is set up in the middle of the map. Can they hold it, though? Not to, not this time. They're all dead. All right. Back to Young holding the zone. Are we going to see every member of Young with a 15 or higher KD? If Leafy can find two picks, that's going to happen. They find one. They might not have enough time to find another, though, because I think this is it for Friends. Terra and Obi fighting, and yeah, 14 and higher KD on every player. I just realized my frames are dropping, I apologize. But that's gonna be the set, guys. That's gonna be Young taking it with just, yeah, the frag <laughs> happening. That is definitely a very one-sided match. 
Interesting, interesting, but that is the game. It went from very even to very one-sided, and that mental can do that to you sometimes. But that looks like that's going to be it. That's going to be Young taking it 5-1. to one. Friends did happen to have some clutch objective caps, but just not able to hold everything down. Just search him up on Sendu Inc. Uh, let me let me pull him up. I'll send y'all a Sendu. If he if he has it. Well, here, here's his Twitter. You'll probably find him on there. Or you can ask him. But yeah, there we go. Young gonna be taking it. Congrats to Nika and the others for that win. Uh, we're gonna go raid someone. I think, because I don't I don't think I want to stream this rotation. No, I don't. I don't want to play this at all. <laughs> I don't want to play this whatsoever. How do you get into comp? I'd recommend the Academy. I don't know if it's linked here. Academy. I think a lot of people have finals. I don't have an Academy link. I will give you it. This is basically the hub for competitive. You can find... Basically anything from here. So if you're looking to get into comp, I'd definitely recommend starting there. But yeah, that's gonna be it. That was uh, fun. I enjoyed casting that set. It was interesting.